I always thought that the big steel wheels of such a road roller are drum toss, but I was wrong actually, its steel drum is hollow inside, and here the veil presses the road through vibration, not by its. A heavy block contour weight is applied to one side of the shaft. When the shaft rotates, it vibrates the drum up and down. The advantage of this technique is that high frequency vibration reduces the only weighted pressure dulls the work and can cause more pressure in some parts, which can make the ground too hard or spotted. The frequency of the vibration can be controlled according to the needo. This is why some road rollers have a dual vibration system with two groups of vibrational blocks that rotate in opposite directions to reduce the effect of vibration. And the interesting thing is that in a 26 roller that is equipped with a six-cylinder engine of 150 kilowatts, there is no direct power. Jin first runs a variable displacement hydraulic pump that converts the solvent into a high-pressure hydraulic annealer and then the all reaches the separate parts here as this all goes to the radial pi. The other pistons are at low pressure. The continuous cycle of high-low pressure keeps rotating the rotor and the speed of moving the hydraulic pressure. So the reason why not use the gear system is that the power-to-weight ratio of the hydraulic motor is very good. The small motor can also give a lot of power. There is a differential gear system that